All right. The last effect building method that's very sneaky and will make you look very good if you can think ahead in time. Uh, one way to build multiple keyframe effects without going into this, these menus, if you don't have a lot of time, and let's say offhandedly the director goes, oh, can you go from that uh, three box to the two box um, on air, let's say. This is an old trick in the Grass Valley uh, switchers that, you know, I think a lot of people have forgotten about. It's very old school, but it works really well. And uh, I've done this on a few occasions and, you know, gave the illusion that I was a super genius when, in fact, uh, just a couple key presses. So let's just call up a couple things I might already have here. All right. So we got a double box here. Somebody wants to transition. And I was asked to do this like a month ago. They wanted to go from this effect, this double box, to this effect, which is a double box you know, on top of each other. And a third box will put something interesting in there, uh, something random. OK. Actually, we'll put that. And I'll give you something like that. OK. So they want, let's say they want to go from an anchor in a box with those two guys and then have that sort of fly over to the side and that come in from the left. And if you had to build this, it would take longer than a commercial break. I'll show you the sneaky way to go about doing this. The key is you're going to modify the double box. You're going to create a third key on that and just have it off to the side. Quick way to do that. Let's go back to that menu copy. This time we're just going to copy keyers. We're just going to, we don't want the, to copy the entire um, ME. We want just a specific key. And what I want is I want ME3 key. I want to save that. I'm going to need it for later. So I copy that up top. And actually, I'm going to do that again. I copy that up top. Let's see if I got it. Yes, I did. OK, and if we look in ME2, put that online. So I've got that in ME2. I'm going to come back to that in just a second. Come back to ME3 now. Call up your double box. We're going to copy this back. I'm going to go ME2 key 3 to ME3 key 3. We're going to copy it back. Kick it over. There it is. You can see it poking in on the side. All I'm going to do, select it. I'm going to just move it off to the side. Nobody knows it's there except for me. I'm going to modify this entire effect. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to learn it. Got to remember to undo this, uh, say, the next day. It uses up resources, whatever. So I'm going to learn at exactly the same spot. All right, so now I've set myself up pretty nicely. I'm going to use something called <clears throat> effect dissolve. It's this little button here. Got a lot of use in the 90s. Uh, <laughs> once timelines became common, you know, people weren't using them so much. But if I, you have to build something complex very quickly, it's a beautiful thing. I'm going to go effects dissolve, bank, O. And then when I hit this button, you're going to see some stuff happen on there. Wow. Now, I was talking my way through that for the camera. I don't know, maybe that was you know a few minutes. You can do that very quickly. You can do that in a commercial break. And uh, the payoff was pretty sweet because you have the directors who are like, how did you do that? That's amazing. And directors, producers are ecstatic. That's what they wanted in their show. It's a beautiful thing. It's very fast. Often, uh, if you're doing anything long term, coming back to this master EMM section, this is the place to be. But uh, in a pinch, sometimes you don't have that luxury. This takes a little longer. And you can really fly sometimes just staying locally. Uh, I wouldn't recommend uh, doing that on a regular, but when you need to go quickly, that's really sweet.